But there are chisels or panel cutters. You need to reference your application chart so that you regulate the pressure to what's appropriate for how you're utilizing it. Typically speaking, for body panels, well, 120 is going to be about your maximum pressure setting. If you're getting into hinge assemblies or something that's more structural in steel, then you're going to go uh, from 125 to the 200s. But make sure that you reference the manufacturer's chart to get it appropriately set. Once your regulator is on, your cylinder's up, and you've dialed in the appropriate pressure, connect in your hose, and then you're ready to assemble your panel cutters. For a body panel application like this, <clears throat> We're going to use a chisel bit that's a thin base chisel, or we're going to use a paddle with a rudder on it like this. This tip is designed to glide along the top surface of the edge, or of the cut line, and then the middle segment is designed to do all the cutting. you got to make sure that you don't force these, misapply them, or have too much pressure behind them on a structural application, because it will shear off the cutting segment. The chisel bit is designed to cut all the way through. These require a little more... Um, technique to ensure that you don't just drive this blade all the way through the cut which can then cause it to get lodged or displaced from the air chisel so you got to make sure that you're gliding appropriately keeping that top corner above the cut line when you hit folds or bevels in your body panel like this this type of bit may not accommodate a full cut through and a return cut on the opposite side you may need to pull out switch blades go to the chisel bit to accommodate all those angles and then go back to the other bit the advantages to using air chisels or panel cutters on ferrous metals is that you're not going to have the same spark production that you do with a rotary saw. The disadvantage is it's not going to be as fast, and typically this style of bit is not going to accomplish a, a one-pass cut through all the layers of the body of panel assembly. Um, they work pretty effectively on hoods, fenders, and quarter panels. Deck lids also have less meat underneath them, but on hood assemblies, typically you're going to have to make a second pass.